What is going on, everybody? Thanks again for tuning in to another video. Thanks to everybody who checked out the last video. I appreciate you guys. Uh, got definitely some um, good feedback once again. All the videos get good feedback in terms of you know how it helped, what would they like to see, what would people want to see more of, and things like that. So I appreciate you guys because you know, hey, if I can help any guys out, I'm gonna do it. And if I could do it through video and the camera lens, it's even better. But something a little bit different today. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with training. So you know out here, the gyms finally opened back up. Um, so like your franchise gyms, those are pretty much open now. And then my jujitsu academy that I train at, that's open. So I've been slowly trying to get back in the groove. Jiu-Jitsu, like I'm ready to get rocking and rolling like that. You already know that's gonna be just a staple. Even more so now, like for me, Jiu-Jitsu has just been getting back on the mats and being able to roll with like different people. That has just been tremendous. And that's why I recommend it so much to people that not only is it just an awesome workout, but what it can do mentally, especially just dealing with everything that's going on right now, it's just a great, great outlet. And if you just want to burn some energy and just, you know, be, be able just to just unleash um, a certain stress level that you might be going on that day, you can go in there, have a good workout, and then, you know, Hopefully at the end of class, matter of fact, not even hopefully, I know you will at the end of class, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna be exhausted. And for me, that's what I need right now. It's just, when I when my mind just wanders and I'm not like focused or locked into something, that's when the thoughts get crazy. So for me, getting back into jiu-jitsu, of course, that's gonna be awesome. I'm happy to be back on the map. So, you know, I've been working out outside with like the kettlebells and stuff like that, which is of course, it's fine. Like I have no problem with it. But now that I went back to like the regular gym, I've been back for like, I went like two days already. It just doesn't seem the same. And I'll post some of the workouts and little things that I've been doing, but so the gyms are pretty much like empty right now. Every time I've gone, I've gone for like two days already. Every time I've been in there, it's maybe like five people, including myself, so that makes six. And you know, you go through the whole thing, they take your temperature and you spray, they give like a spray bottle and you go in there. So. I like the fact that it's empty. I love an empty gym, but I don't know. I just feel like I worked out, I got it in, it was a good workout. I was like, eh, I don't know if I really, eh, I'm not as like enthusiastic about getting back into it as much as like, um, I'm more so happy to get back to jujitsu. But I was just like, I don't know, like, unless I can, unless it's like pouring down rating outside, I think I'm just gonna be going back to the park and just doing my, you know, outdoor workouts and, you know, the kettlebells, body weight, sandbags, medicine balls, more kettlebells, things like that. And, and I kind of knew that was going to happen because even before I was just always locked in a gym and things like that, I was usually training outside anyway. Like that's kind of how I started or got kind of got into uh, working out where I would just go to the park and just work out and you know with the pull-up bar pull-ups and push-ups and dips and that was it and then you know slowly but surely like later on like that's when i started getting a gym membership and stuff like that but being outside for the past couple of months and then just like doing those type of workouts i'm like well i don't see and that's a lot of people feel like that right i know a lot of people who are just like they don't feel the need to go back and i think like for anyone who owns a gym um, any sort of like fitness something, like if you're just in the fitness realm or health and wellness realm, this is when now it's like you really got to think, okay, how can I change the way, you know, my business is running because you can't go back to like the old ways. You can't use the same model before the shutdown, before people were doing online workouts and people were, you know, streaming workouts, and things like that, and just doing, building home gyms, you know, garage gyms. Now people realize, I don't really don't need it. Like, I don't need to go to this big box gym anymore. Like, it's not really necessary. And I kind of found that, you know, in myself. And, and obviously, you know, I'm a big gym head and I, I love being in the gym, I love working out, I love training. But I realized, like, eh, I really don't need it as much as I thought that I did. And I didn't get the same fulfillment. And that's kind of where I'm at now with a lot of things, too. It's like, okay, I kind of want to feel fulfilled after I finished training and I feel more fulfilled when I was outside 
on the grass, getting dirty, sweaty, smelling like nature, kettlebells running, as opposed to just being back in the box gym, you know, getting it in, of course, you know, it got the workouts in, but it just wasn't like what I really thought it was gonna be. And I, I'll, I definitely will be posting some videos of what I was doing in there, but just kind of going back to like how I used to train um, barbells, dumbbells, uh, more power movements, isolated movements, things like that. But I realized like, no, I miss just being outside. Like it's raining today, so I probably won't get out there like I want to, but I'll be in jujitsu and we'll do some yoga. But this is something to think about for anyone who owns any sort of gym where it's like now your your online presence has to be different now. Now like your online presence has to change. It has to, I don't even know where we're going with this. I know I'm ranting a little bit, you know, I'm giving like gym tips and business tips, but it's the truth though, because for me, just, you know, just using me as an example of what I'm looking for right now, it's just a little bit more uh, engagement. I think also when I was training outside, I was running into people, you know, obviously, just six feet, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, you know, I mean up with people or I'm like talking to people about kettlebells and what type of kettlebells they use and this and that third. It had more of like a community kind of aspect to it that for me, I can appreciate. And that's kind of what I get from Jiu Jitsu as well. It's like a community kind of atmosphere along with training, along with doing something that is just so hard. So I don't know, the gym wasn't really as fulfilling and, and I didn't have as much fun as I thought I would getting back into it. I think we're gonna just continue focusing on going back to the park and going outside and really just kind of honing that because that, it was tough. It was tougher for me to get up, go to the park, get it in as opposed to just driving up to the big box gym and then like, all right, cool, we're hit, we're in here, it's, it's AC. You know, I could take my time, you know what I mean? I could just always fill up my water bottle and I was coasting a little bit. But jujitsu is right back into it. It was tough, it's hard. It's, I was like, okay, I got, I got to warm up to some of these moves. I'm definitely aching again. But it was what is so necessary right now. It's like, it's what's so important. It's just what I need. So I'm happy to be back. It feels good to be back. It's definitely a my therapy for sure. And I want you guys to go out there and do it too. It's like, I feel the importance of jujitsu and this health and wellness is so important right now, way more than what people think when, when they think, when they hear that I say that it's important, what I'm referring to, it's not the external, like, I, you know, the external is just like a byproduct. It's just a bonus. It's a gift for you for putting in the work and for putting in the discipline. The external is, is just the gift and the bonus. Like here, this is another reward for you putting in endless amounts of, of reps and time and, and discipline. Here, you can look like this. But for me, on a real deeper level, you know, it's always trying to get better and just never settling. Uh, it's, it's my therapy, you know, big, big time, you know. And we have to take care of ourselves. Like, I really feel we have to take the initiative to get our checkups and make sure we're eating right and make sure we're, we're getting active and we're staying active. Um, not saying you have to completely eradicate all the junk food out of your, your life for the rest of your life, but accountability, you know, getting out there, getting active, working out, go do jujitsu, go learn a martial art. You know, I've, I've would preach that until the day that I die that go and do jujitsu because it's 100% has changed my life and changed me. Go out and do all of these things and you owe it to yourself to stay in shape and to stay healthy as much as we can, eat well, uh, make healthier options and things like that. So just my two cents. But anyway, let me get out of here. Uh, it's time to, to get ready for some jujitsu and I will be back later on. Thank you guys for watching. Um, ah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys have been enjoying uh, some of these videos, I appreciate it. And if you don't want to hit it, it's cool too. Just keep on watching. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks guys. Peace.